Welcome to Crystal Info Get Going Guides. Uh, here we're going to be looking at how to make an interface uh, for a website. And the easiest way of doing it is to generate the design in a program like Photoshop and then design it in the way that you would like it to look normally and then design it on a different layer on how you'd like it to look with a rollover. So I've got two Photoshop images, one for a standard state and one for a rollover and I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to import it in so I'm going to do uh, command E to import so file and import and these are the banners I've got uh, to go on top of the page so this is a normal state banner and then when I roll over it's going to look like this and you get these purple pop out tabs appearing on the size so what I'm going to do is import the normal one first and in it comes I could do pass through here but I've just done uh, f Photoshop to uh, uh, go through and then a uh, free way to interpret it itself. Um, so this is what I've got. I've got this basic image but what I want to do is when I roll over these buttons over here that the, a new button will pop out uh, and make interactive. So what I want to do is to copy this box and import another picture on the top. I'm going to do a command D which is item and duplicate and I just put another box on top and I do a command D to import the other picture into this area. Now obviously this picture is a little bit bigger so I'm just going to resize the box with a command shift D to go in it which is item and fit box to image. Now I want to make sure I've got combined images off at this point. Now what I've got is two images on top of each other. So what I want to do now is I only need one image to be the size of the rollover. So I just move that over there like so. So now I can see I've got one image there and one image over there. So what I want to do now is to make that into a rollover. So what I do, just turn the combined graphics off, click on it and then go to the action window or I could go to the item window and uh, choose actions and then I need to scroll down until I find rollover. There we go. And I click on that and now you can see that I've got the two pictures in the rollover one on top of each other. Now because I don't want the bottom one the basic uh, banner, the new banner one, um, to disappear when we roll over I just want the new banner two item to appear and the normal state I turn the new banner 2 off and in the mouse over state I turn both of them on so I can have two images appearing in the rollover or more even at different points so I just close that off and now let's preview that in a browser so that we can see uh, what it looks like and there we have it as I roll over there the extra window uh, appears which has the uh, rollover effect into it now I want to repeat that three times uh, on here so what I do now is I then duplicate that again so I repeat the whole process and import uh, new banner 2 again and this saves a lot of time um, creating lots of stuff in different uh, packages and importing it all and stitching it all together uh, at a later date so it makes life a lot easier for a developer so now I'm going to come into look at here and then move that up. The only trick that you can do to improve uh, this process is to actually be very careful and when you zoom in you want to make sure that these lines uh, touch each other because if they do this is making a table layout and you want to keep the tables as simple as possible so make sure that they actually touch and that will make the table layout so if we have a look at the HTML layout at the moment you can see that it's uh, aligning quite easily so if I change this and move this down it would create other tables uh, for you so which can become adds a little bit more code so if I move this up you can see we've got this other table in there so we want to keep it um, 
as accurate as possible. And of course you can use these measurements here to make sure that it is. So there we've got that. Now we want to apply the rollover. Go to the actions again and go down to rollover. And then we've got that. If you see the other picture appearing, it means that your boxes are overlaying each other. So you've got one on top of another, which you obviously don't want at this stage. I'll just repeat the same uh, item again. And then when we preview it, we should get two different rollovers. So we've got one there and one there. And again, we just repeat it for the third one there in exactly the same process. You can download these files from crystallinfocode.uk. There's a zip file with all these uh, images on it and you can uh, play around with them uh, however you like and you can follow this tutorial. Uh, the next thing that happens with the banner is we just put a, a, we have a side banner at the top and I just put that and then we put in banner short right and that would be the banner complete. And again, you want to make sure that the height of this box, which is 142, is exactly the same as this box because it will make the tables much tighter uh, for you at a later date. And then when we preview it, it will come up and it will look like that. The only other thing we want to do is to make sure that the alignment is centered so it fits nicely uh, within the center of the page and of course you'd want to give a nice title uh, to your page as well. So that's it for creating a banner. It saves a lot of aggravation of making lots of different images, splitting them up. You can use Freeway to slice up your images uh, exactly the same way as when you were using combined uh, graphics and uh, uncombined graphics uh, to put different images on top of each other. It will then create table layouts for you and then you can make rollovers from them. So visit me at www.chrislinfordco.uk. Uh, you can find me on iTunes and you can find me on YouTube.